two sides and an angle are given below so lowercase a lowercase c and angle c are given determine whether the given information results in one triangle two triangles or no triangle at all solve any triangle that results okay let's try to draw a generic triangle based on this okay, it does not have to be exact okay so one of the angles is 130 that's bigger than 90 so bigger than 90 something like this it doesn't have to be exact anyways C let's say this is a B and opposite of angle C or vertex C is lowercase C which is 1 and opposite of a that's lowercase a is just 5 okay now if there is one triangle or two triangles then we are supposed to find angle B this angle and this is given 130 we need to find angle B we need to find angle A and lowercase b this is b so this angle c and side c are given lowercase a is given so we need to find a first we can find a using the law laws of signs we need to make use of a and c so sine angle a over a equals sine b over b but angle b is not given side b is also not given so i want to use the third sine c over c okay sine a that's just sine a because we are trying to determine angle a over lowercase a is 5 equals sine c sine c is 130 degrees all over c which is 1 Okay, so we have one fraction in the left hand side, only one fraction in the right hand side. So we can cross multiply. And note we are trying to note that we are trying to find angle A. So this first sine A this equals five times sine 130. Okay, and let's use our calculator. Make sure the mode in the calculator is in degrees and 5 times sine 30 that will be sine a note note that the sine a value should be in between negative 1 and 1 it should not be bigger than 1 and less than negative 1 okay so let me use my calculator it gives 3.83 okay this is not good because sine of any angle should be always in between negative 1 and 1 this is bigger than 1 that means we cannot have a triangle with this given information okay so that implies there is no a we cannot have angle a so the conclusion is no triangle final